Lab. Welcome back to the lab. Today we are going to look at a special type of animal that although not often seen plays an important role in soil health. Worms. Worm is the general name given to animals from three different groups. There are round worms, flat worms and segmented worms. The worms in each group have a few things in common. They're all invertebrates, generally with soft, long and narrow bodies. They don't have legs and they live in a variety of different habitats, including inside your body. But today, I want to show you my favourite of all worms. These slippery guys, earthworms. Earthworms are segmented worms. They have bodies made up of many sections called segments, which give a ring-like appearance. On each segment, there are hair-like bristles called setae. To move about, earthworms squeeze up their body into a long, narrow shape. The setae then hold the body of the earthworm in place as it pulls its body forward. Amazing! Although they look pretty simple, there's a lot going on inside an earthworm's body. Earthworms have a front end where you'll find the mouth and a back end where they remove waste. Earthworms have a simple digestive system and a closed circulatory system. They also have a brain where they sense and respond to changes in moisture, light and temperature. If you want to find earthworms, there's one place you should definitely check out. Underground. Beneath the surface of the soil, earthworms can be found in tunnels called burrows. Living in underground burrows helps earthworms keep their body moist and prevents them from drying out in the sun. In their underground burrows, earthworms feed on organic matter in the soil. Yep, they eat soil. By living, moving about, eating and digesting underground, earthworms play an important role in keeping the soil healthy and suitable for plants to grow. Their burrows provide spaces for air and water to seep into the soil and as they feed, digest and remove waste, they release nutrients that are vital for plants to grow. Earthworms are so good for soil that many people use them to break down food scraps into nutrient-rich soil at home. The soil, called compost, can be spread on garden beds to raise healthy plants. I hope you enjoyed learning about earthworms as much as I did and I'll see you soon in the Lighthouse Lab.